You often see old-fashioned cuboid buildings almost everywhere in Japan. They are actually wooden and called bunkajutaku, which means a new type house. Bunkajutaku is peculiar to Japan. They were built after the World War II. At that time, they were very modern. Many of them are equipped with communal toilets only and no bathrooms at all. For bathing, nearby public bath houses called sento are used. Most foreign travelers don't have a chance to see inside a bunka jutaku. So today, I show you what it is like. This bunka jutaku was built 42 years ago. But the redecorated rooms are in pretty good shape. Extremely old ones are often untenanted in whole. You may wonder why the landlords don't rebuild them or just clear the lands to make parking lots. There are four main reasons for that. Number one, most landlords must borrow a large amount of money in order to rebuild. Number two, they cannot expect as many tenants as before due to Japan's population decline. Number three, without a multi-family unit on the land, property tax would be six times as much. Number four, real estate doesn't fetch a good price in Japan anymore.
As you can see, it is a Japanese style toilet. But most Japanese don't like Japanese style anymore. It is covered with a Western style toilet seat. When you flush a toilet, water comes out from a faucet on the water tank so that you can wash your hands. Here is a bathroom. There is no shower. Since the water faucet doesn't supply hot water, the bath must be heated. A bathtub can fit only one person. A washing machine can be set on the narrow veranda. Bunka Jutaku is certainly old-fashioned, but has a very good point too. The rent is very low. For instance, this Bunka Jutaku is located in a city and just a two-minute walk from a train station. On top of that, there are supermarkets, hospitals, schools, and much more within a three-minute walking distance. However, the rent is as low as $300 a month. So, Bunka Jutaku may be highly useful for long-stay foreigners in Japan. No deposit is required either. 